Coach Bob Seeley with Seeley Outdoors. I'm the creator of the Big Bass Fishing Tournament events that happened, uh, started back about 48, 49 years ago. We want to uh, express uh, some things to you uh, that happened this past weekend at Lake Toledo Bend. I'd like to introduce my son-in-law, Chris Bennett. Uh, he was kind of overseeing the event and stuff of that day and all this, and he'll tell you what transpired. Thanks, Bob. Hey guys, real quick, I want to go over a, a few rules of safety and integrity, and I'll get right to the point. We have rules of safety, such as wearing your life jacket when that big motor's running. We have rules of integrity, such as if you've got it on this lake that we're fishing on within the last 90 days, that would make you ineligible to fish our tournament. Guys, when those rules are broken, those are mistakes by good, honest anglers. Okay, and when those when they are broken, we address them just as that. At the most will happen, you will, you will withdraw your fish and you will move on. But what we won't tolerate is malicious activity, such as altering the length of a fish or manipulating the weight of a fish. With that being said, this last weekend at Lake Toledo Bend, a fish was weighed in by an individual that indeed was recognized by my, by my bump man immediately. At that time, we took proper protocol, sent signal to the weighmaster, and held that fish until authorities could arrive. When the authorities arrived, they determined along with the state biologist, they determined that that fish indeed had been manipulated by lead weights. Since then, we, they have asked us to cooperate with them for a few days while they did their thorough investigation. We now have an individual that's been apprehended by the state of Louisiana, and we will continue to keep you up to date on what's happened. I want to thank each and every one of the game wardens, I want to thank all of my staff for doing a wonderful job. We look forward to moving forward and getting past this. And I want to assure each of you that we're doing our jobs and we're going to continue to do your, our jobs to protect the honest angler. And we look forward to seeing you soon. You know, for the individual who did this, we have no idea what possessed him. But you know, he'll never be able to fish another Sealy Outdoor event. Uh, but we're going to be praying for him and his family and hopefully that things that transpire with law enforcement from now, hopefully this will turn around and maybe put a different perspective to his life.